Welcome back everyone, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, here with my first hero breakdown video for Era of Conquest. And I figured if I was going to start making a video on hero breakdowns, I was going to start with the one that you have to buy in order to get. And hopefully this will help this video will help you decide whether or not he's worth it. If you would like the too long didn't read version of this, yes, he is worth it. And I'll explain. First off, he does have two S's. Being in cavalry and range, traditionally high-powered units, traditionally, and then having an A in spears means he can adequately run three different troop types, but having that additional 20% in both of these is pretty good. There are heroes that can do better, I know this, but already having two S's is perfectly fine. He does start off with a very solid strength stat and this is at level one at level one with no additional bonuses he has a 94.8 or a 92 strength stat because i'm giving 2.8 here his second okay stat is his agility so he's already going to move fairly early in combat and he's going to dish a lot of physical damage and we're going to focus around this physical damage portion of it now, starting off his skills, he has Battle of Therm Thermopylae. He prepares for one round, which kind of sucks, but launches two physical attacks with a damage rate of up to 348% on a single random unit. The target is independently selected each time. So already he's going to deal over almost 700% damage rate in combat when the skill goes off. That is massive. However, if the target is already suffering from a burn, which is a damage over time effect applied by a lot of skills in this game, the skill damage increases by 50%, up to 200%. I believe this 200% is caused by a spear that he's able to acquire, but either way, 50% is still fairly decent and it increases until the battle ends. So, we need to try and center our skills around this burn mechanic so that we can apply as much as we can without wasting it. And we'll see how we can do that later on. Next, I wanna go through what heroes what other commanders this person can be placed with in order to get quite a bit of use after them. So let's get into it. One I like and one the game very much suggests is Mary Tudor. Mary Tudor comes with a skill that launches a tactical attack on a single enemy unit and inflicts burn effect on them. Not a chance, no percentage to inflict the burn effect. It hits a target and burns it. And if the target is already burned, launches an additional attack on said target. So we can inflict a burn and make sure we're not wasting it. Our two requirements are fulfilled with this hero. Another good option. Where are you? Empress Theodora. A six star legendary, as opposed to Mary's five star epic who has a much stronger tactical stat and launches a tactical attack on a single target and does inflict burn on them as well. And if the target is already burned, increases all damage dealt by a random ally unit by 20% for one round. So while if she's resetting the burn, it's not getting any additional damage out of it like Tudor's is, she can increase all damage dealt by an ally unit for 20%, and if this goes on the right person, this can be huge, especially if this 20% falls on Leonidas. Another one that I didn't see the game suggesting that I thought would be a good idea is actually Oda Nobunaga. And for every active skill cast, burn, burn skills are almost exclusively active skills. He launches a tactical attack to unburned enemies first. 
So we're going to have a lot of active skills. If you run Oda and any of those go off, he launches this 45%, 180% tactical attack and inflicts a burn on an unburned target. So this is a good way to make sure that all of your enemies are burned consistently. And if the target is already burned, it deals additional damage to them instead of just refreshing the burn. So I really like this one here simply because we can make sure that all of our enemies are burned, which is really good for some of the skills we want to use. If you need a budget option for the time being, El Cid works just fine. He's got a solid strength stat for covering your other physical, physical attack abilities and capitalizes on targets that are already burned. So if the target's already burned, increases the damage by 70% and it's quite a bit of damage. It's a low activation probability. It is an active skill, but dealing 570% damage on a target that's burned, pretty nice. Now, we have Leonidas, who doesn't set his own burn, he capitalizes it, capitalizes on it, and we have a few options for setting a burn, but what other skills can we make the most out of in order to set more burn or capitalize on enemies that are already burned? A good way that you can search for this kind of thing is come into the skill details let's just look up burn I currently have 10 skills that all have the burn mechanic to use and let's go over a couple of them already Sterling's hammer prepares for one round and launches a physical attack on all enemy units damage rate of up to 240 percent if any of those targets is burned there's a 33% chance of causing an explosion effect, dealing physical damage to all enemy targets again for another 270. So, if we're running Oda, who's guaranteeing that our non-burned enemies get burned during this preparation phase, this can add up a lot. Another great one is Byzantine Flamethrower. This one is a tactical attack, so you'll want to put it on a tactical hero. Prepares for one round, launches a tactical attack to a single enemy unit for up to 224% damage and inflicts burn on them. So you've got a large damage tactical attack that inflicts burn, and if the target's already burned, increases the damage and healing effect of the, of the user's next active skill by 112%. So, the point of this one is to set a burn on someone that's already burned and capitalize on this 112%. Some other great skills that can set burn. Personally, I like Bombardment. Inflicts a burn on two enemy units and decreases the healing received by those units for 30 by 30%. So, honestly, very solid way to get burn on an enemy. One of my other w favorites is Three-Eyed Gun. Launches a physical attack at two enemy units and inflicts burn. So, we've got another one that affects two people. And if the target's already burned, it deals physical damage once again. So, we've got another skill that isn't going to waste the burn. It's not a lot of damage, but the ability to set more burn and capitalize on it, we're loving that. Skyfire is also a great one, but it is another preparation one. Launches a tactical attack to all enemy units, and if it's already burned, launches another tactical attack. So, Skyfire is essentially a weaker version of the Byzantine flamethrower, but Again, we're capitalizing on that burn ability. Now, there may be some other burn abilities that you want to use. There's plenty to choose from, but the idea is that we're setting burn and we're not going to waste it. Like, for, here's another one. 
if the enemy is already burned gains immunity twice this is really good on against control teams that like to use this disarm silent stun abilities and since we're burning them we hit them with a physical attack and then we're immune to those control effects personally why I'm using it on Leonidas so that I can get as much damage out of him as possible and with that being said that's all I have to say about Leonidas this is my current build of him after two days and I still have a lot of work to do on awakening him as far as his talent points keeps uh, as hero points stack his strength so you can get some more damage out of him and when advancing him get up to this talent uh, third talent so you're getting more strength out of his abilities as well as increasing the probability of triggering his active skill so with that being said this is my first hero breakdown video if you have any suggestions on how I can improve these videos in the future, please let me know. If I, you felt I got anything wrong, if you were one of the beta testers for the game and feel like I could improve on this breakdown video, please let me know. This is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, signing off.